okay hello everyone in this class we are going to discuss about electric field intensity due to electric dipole on equatorial line in our last class we have been discussed electric field intensity at any arbitrary point p which is situated on axial line here axial line is nothing but line along the line which is joining the two charges so this is the line so along this line any arbitrary point p at that point p what will the electric field intensity that we have been discussed and we found this one in detail we have been discussed in our last class in today class we are going to discuss electric field intensity value and also direction on if the point will be on equatorial line so for that we consider a electric dipole that means opposite charges separated by a distance 2a and this is the middle point of that electric dipole and as this is the positive charge so dipole moment direction will be this one along positive x-axis direction so along this side here I given the mark so this is the dipole or dipole moment also we can say that it is your p vector and obviously if this distance will be 2a this distance b to o and o to a will be a and a and this is the line which is perpendicular and dividing this distance to a is called as your equatorial line so here equatorial line is nothing but the line which is perpendicular and dividing half half dividing equal half the length of the dipole okay so here equatorial line is passed through the middle point of the dipole we can say consider a arbitrary point p which is distance r from this center or this middle point of this dipole to p now consider p to a and p to b is the uh, is the distance your r square plus a square obviously if this will be the distance a and this is your r so this distance will be r square plus a square root over Con let this angle and this angle is your theta and theta right now here you can see this is your positive charge right if we are going to substitute a unit positive charge at this point p this positive charge is going to be repel this positive charge along this pn direction okay hence pn direction or pr vector is nothing but your electric field intensity at point p due to charge plus plus q which is at a let that is your e1 electric field intensity due to this plus q charge at point p along pn right now consider a, a line pq which is uh, parallel with x axis and if this angle will be this angle is theta so obviously this angle will be theta so hence e1 will be the two components one will be the horizontal component that will be e1 cos theta magnitude so it, as it is directed along negative x axis direction so here it is written that minus i cap and another component will be positive y axis direction that will be e1 sin theta j cap now we are going to consider this charge is this negative charge so if a unit positive charge will be here at point p then due to this negative charge it will be attracted along p b direction so electric field intensity will be along p b direction let this is your e2 so as this is the angle theta obviously this angle will be theta because this line p q is parallel with x axis x x dash so if this angle theta then e2 has two component one will the horizontal component that is your e2 cos theta as it is along negative x axis direction so here i have here i have been written minus i cap another will be along this direction that means negative y axis direction so it will be written as e2 sin theta minus j cap so we found that due to positive 
Q charge at point P, the electric field intensity is your U1 having the two components, this one and this one, and E2 due to this negative charge and having two component, components E2 cos theta and E1 sin theta respectively. Now, at point P, what will the resultant electric field intensity? So, here uh, same thing I have been written that you can write in your note for your exam point of view. So, E1 is E1 value will be how much? 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by A P square that means A A to P square and uh, E1 will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by here you can see A to P distance this distance this distance is your r square plus a square root over so a p square will, will be r square plus a square only and its direction along a p direction a p direction or you can write p n direction whatever you can write no problem now e2 value and direction magnitude and direction your magnitude will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q by r square plus a square this distance also p to b p to b distance this distance also is your r square plus a square root over so it will be r square plus a square uh, root over again square it will be r square plus a square along p b direction along p b means along this direction okay now components of e1 along p q direction so e1 direction is your along this direction this one is your e1 direction and its component along p q direction or along negative x axis direction is your e1 cos theta minus i cap so this is in the vector form okay so here also it is written in this also vector form likewise uh, e1 vector along p m direction p m means uh, for uh, along positive uh, positive y axis direction positive y axis direction will be e1 sin theta j cap likewise component of e2 along pq direction pq means this along this direction will be e2 cos theta minus i cap along p o direction e2 sin theta minus j cap so these are the four components acts at the point p or on the point p and what will the resultant intensity the resultant intensity or resultant electric field intensity due to dipole at point p will be how much the e will be e1 here you can see e1 sin <coughs> theta along j a positive j cap or positive y axis direction and another e2 sin theta along negative uh, y axis direction so both are magnitude same same but opposite direction how the magnitude will be same here you can see e1 value is your 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by a p square or 1 by 4 pi epsilon or q by r square plus a square and e2 also q by r square plus a square 1 by 4 pi epsilon both have magnitude is same so if we are going to consider uh, suppose this j uh, this one j cap minus j cap so e1 sin theta and here theta is also same theta will be equal uh, theta is also equal so e1 sin theta and e2 sin theta magnitude will be same magnitude will be same and but, but opposite in direction so hence both the components will be cancelled with each other finally these two components along x axis component one is your u1 cos theta minus i cap another is your e2 cos theta minus i cap they are going to be add up with each other because both are both are along same direction right so resultant electric field intensity at point p will be addition of these two components okay along p q direction along p q direction right okay so same thing uh, I, I have been written here so now we are going to calculate what will the value here e1 value is nothing but 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r square plus a square cos theta minus i cap here e2 value is your 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r square plus a square cos theta minus i cap or you can write along pq no problem along pq you can write you can write along pq or you can write minus i cap so e will be here uh, these two terms are same so 2 pi 2 by 2 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r square plus a square cos theta minus i cap here cos theta if we are going to consider this triangle that means b uh, P O 
BPO triangle or uh, OA this is OA by uh, AP OA by AP so here we consider this triangle okay uh, OPA triangle then cos theta cos theta will be OA this is the theta means this is the base this is the OA is the base so OA by PA OA by PA or AP so this will be a by r square plus a square root of r now we are going to substitute instead of cos theta this value okay here here we have been substituted now here r square plus a square here r square plus a square to the power 1 by 2 so this will be r square plus a square to the power 3 by 2 minus i cap minus i i cap simple simply it has been written so here uh, you, you can see this 2 q a can be written as q into 2 a okay q into 2 a this q into 2 a is nothing but the magnitude of dipole moment we know that this magnitude of dipole moment is nothing but either charge any one of the charge magnitude into distance between them so here in this case either charge value is your q and distance between them is your 2 a so this is nothing but P. P means dipole moment magnitude and here mm, minus is there minus 4 pi epsilon 0 4 pi epsilon 0 1 by r square plus a square to the power 3 by 2 i cap okay now here you can see this minus i have been written over here and mm, i cap i cap uh, i have been writ, uh, written in the vector form p so here minus p i cap is represent that minus p i cap represent that along negative x axis direction how see if we are going to consider only this dipole only this dipole this is the positive charge this is the negative charge here this is the positive charge and this is the negative charge so p vector is along this direction along positive x axis direction that means this p vector this p vector uh, value will be we can write p magnitude into i cap okay so here minus sign indicates that uh, the electric field intensity the electric field intensity along negative x axis direction here i am going to say oh, i am going to explain uh, uh, in another way here p is nothing but your p magnitude into i cap only only p so here negative sign indicates that p magnitude minus i cap okay so this is nothing but your electric field intensity so electric field intensity indicates that the this is the magnitude this is the magnitude and the direction will be the opposite to the electric dipole moment so in this case electric dipole moment along positive x axis direction but electric field intensity will be opposite uh, to the direction of electric dipole moment so only for that this i cap uh, uh, written uh, in vector form that is your p p vector so minus is minus so this i cap uh, p magnitude i cap is nothing but p vector okay okay now this is r square plus a square 3 by 2 it, same thing that it has been written e vector will be equal to this one minus <clears throat> 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p r square plus a square to the 3 by 2 p cap so here p cap p cap i told that p cap is nothing but your positive x axis direction i cap so here p cap for this case p cap is a long positive x axis direction so any uh, format you can write you can write electric field intensity will be this much okay no problem or this much this much this much these all are correct these four expressions are correct but it is written in the different form so but i suggest that you have to remember this one okay this will be required uh, in different uh, uh, different places whenever you are going to interact with various uh, questions so here p cap has the direction along positive x axis direction uh, now we are, if we are going to consider a square c this a this a is less than that of this r this r okay 
is less than that of the r so obviously if we are going to consider a square and r square so this is very very less that means a term or a square term will be neglected so a square term if i am going to neglect then this will be value will be how much uh, here 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is there 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 here minus will be uh, minus will be there then minus p okay and this r square to the power 3 by 2 that means r cube same thing it has been written along pq see here you can write along pq or only this much if you are going to write also correct because this is in the form of in in vector form so here in the figure in this figure uh, we can know one one can easily easily uh, identify what is the uh, direction of this p vector this p vector direction along positive axis direction and this minus sign indicates that electric field intensity just opposite to this electric dipole moment okay so either you can write a long pq if you are not going to write a long pq also no problem this much indicates that electric field intensity magnitude and the direction is opposite to the dipole moment okay so thank you so much for watching this video uh, lecture uh, if you like just like and subscribe in our next class we are going to discuss electric field due to electric dipole but if the point will be situated anywhere so in previously we uh, we discussed that if the point will be on the axial on the equatorial on the equatorial line uh, what will be the value uh, magnitude and direction but if any arbitrary point then uh, what will be the value that we are going to discuss in our next class okay thank you so much for watching this video thank you